Hello there and welcome back to the Total OS Today Technology Channel. Yes, Total Technology for Beginners and Beyond. Well, if you are a beginner and are curious about Linux or wanted to try Linux and maybe had some frustrations in the past, where do you begin? Maybe this top 10 list of the best of what I believe to be the best Linux distributions for beginners for this year, maybe this is a good place to start. Linux can be at times completely satisfying, completely frustrating. For sure, the Linux desktop many times can be unpredictable. But if you follow this top 10 list, hopefully this at least can be a guide for you to try a Linux-based operating system. If you don't know, I am a Windows user, a Windows dual booter to be precise. I dual boot between Windows 10 and different versions of Linux. So I call it as I see it totally as it were. So let's go into my top 10 list, a possible list at least, for the best Linux operating systems for beginners for 2016. Okay, so number 10 is PC Linux OS Mate or Mate, it's pronounced. This is great. They, PC Linux OS, they don't really focus on cutting its software. It's more on stability, not the latest software. Uh, the latest, or rather, I have this on a um, on a ThinkPad from 2004 with a gig of RAM or less, and this works pretty good. So if you want something lightweight and it just works out of the box, check out PC Linux OS, the Mate version. Keeping it light, LXLE. LXL uh, this is the um, probably one of the lesser known Linux distributions. Uh, this one actually looks pretty good out of the box. It should be all set to go. And again, if you have an older machine, this one should be fine. Number eight. Zorn OS used to be my number one pick, but they have switched desktop environments, and I am not a fan of GNOME 3 uh, for beginners. I'm, I'm still picking Zorn because it does work out of the box, and it is still polished. But for the next one, the Zorn team may want to consider a different desktop environment. But that being said, you may want to give Zorn OS a try. It is not designed for all the machines. I recommend even though you don't need it, but I do recommend you have at least four gigs of RAM to make this one run comfortably. Netrunner, I've tested this over the years several times. This one always looks great out of the box. Uh, it's also not designed for older machines. Just like Zorn, I would recommend you have at least four gigs of RAM. It will run with less than four gigs, but in my test, four gigs of RAM or more is just about right. Kubuntu. This is a favorite of some. This probably has always more closely uh, resembled Windows uh, in conjunction with Zorn, that is. But Kubuntu uh, usually works pretty good out of the box. Again, this is not designed for older machines. Make sure you have lots of RAM. Something else that is designed for older machines at number five is Linux Lite. Works pretty good the last time I tested it. And if you were coming from a Windows environment, especially the old Windows XP, check out Linux Lite. Keeping it light once again is Lubuntu. Now this Lubuntu is really, really, really super light out of the box. It may be too light. It may not have everything you need, but if you just want to browse the web, play some music, and that's it, Lubuntu may be it. However, if you want something with a little more meat, as it were, check out number three, and that's Ubuntu. It's one of the machines, what I, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, what I currently use now, what I'm using to record. I've always liked Ubuntu with the Unity desktop, more so than GNOME 3. It's worked pretty good for me in the past, and it works pretty good now. now I know for some of you, Ubuntu, the latest Ubuntu has been a disaster. For some of you, including myself, it's been fantastic. Again, Linux desktops will vary between hardware compatibility, graphics drivers, and the type of software you need to use. Number two, a very well-known Linux distribution, Linux Mint. There are different versions of Linux Mint, such as Mate, XFCE, and others. I would recommend with the recommend the Mate version. Speaking of Mate, my number one pick is Ubuntu Mate. The lead developer, Martin Wimpress, has done a terrific job with Ubuntu Mate. Uh, I spoke with Martin, I believe it was last year in, in, in a podcast, and he explains on why he created Ubuntu Mate. And I, um, I affectionately call Ubuntu Mate the romantic OS. You'll have to take a listen to the podcast 
as to why I called it. But thank you, Martin, for a terrific user-friendly desktop, not just for beginners, but for everybody. And in my test, Ubuntu Mate usually always works out of the box after you install it. So that's it. That is my top 10 list of the best Linux operating systems for 2016. Your results will vary, again, depending on hardware, graphics drivers, and the type of software you use. Keep in mind that the Linux desktop many times can be somewhat unpredictable. I recommend you try it, installing it, running it off a USB stick to see if you like it. If it does, if you happen to have a spare machine, do a full install. If you want to do a, install it as a dual boot, like what I do with Windows 10, you can certainly do that. But for now, this is my top 10 list. So for what it's worth, I hope at least one of these top 10 work, <clears throat> excuse me, work for you. It certainly has for me. Well, that's all I have for this one. If I missed anything, please let me know in the comments below. As always, enjoy your technology and please don't text and drive. I'll catch you later.